In this video, we're going to compare the default shadow quality between Godot 4 and Godot 3. Uh, I have roughly the same scene with an animated character, a plane, the default environment and sky, and a directional light node to cast shadows. Let's start with Godot 3. I'm going to select my directional light and enable the shadows. What can we see? Well, first, contact shadows are not working amazingly well. You can see a bit of shade on the character's torso, but the light is leaking behind the character's head, even though the bottom of the face is clearly shaded. Then, if we go behind the character, we can see the same problem where the feet touch the ground. You can see that the, the shadow is a bit thin down there. It doesn't really give you the shape of the feet too well. So this is a common issue with Godot 3 that you can kind of solve using the contact slider on the directional light, but it tends to create other artifacts and make your shadows look a bit weird. Um, then if we look at the shadow quality behind the character, it's a bit blocky and sometimes there are light leaks um, where you have thin parts in the mesh, which is a bit problematic so you can see artifacts on the ground. This is not as bad in a full game because you have textures, colors, you have different things moving, but it's definitely noticeable. Let's now try Godot 4 and see what happens if I turn on the shadows on my directional light. Instantly, we see that we get proper casting between the face and the character's torso. We also get proper contact shadows around the feet, which is pretty great. The shadow doesn't have these little gaps in some areas, and it is also a bit less blocky. Uh, on a flat plane with no texture, you can really see the dithering in the shadows, but this is the default performance quality trade-off that you get in Godot 4. If I go back to Godot 3 and I go to Project, Project Settings, and to the Shadow Quality Settings, we can change the filter mode and increase the filter quality to get more uh, smooth out shadows. You can see some new artifacts appear in some cases, but the shadow is generally a bit smoother, right? If we go to Godot 4, now we can do the same thing by going to Project, Project Settings, and you need the Advanced Settings turned on to see that. You need to go to Rendering, Lights and Shadows, and you can change the Soft Shadow Filter Quality. The default setting is designed to run fairly fast, but you can select the drop-down and you have many more options now. And you can select a lower quality setting where you will get blockier shadows, but you can also go for higher quality settings to get softer and softer shadows. In your game, you could use then a slider to let the player control the quality of the game's soft shadows. Here you can see the default shadow settings in action in a game with textures, materials, and hopefully you can see the quality is pretty nice already. Uh, this is from a free and open source demo that will release soon, so stay tuned for that. So yeah, the shadows look nice out of the box in Godot 4. Finally, you don't have to mess with many options to get them looking okay, although you still have a bunch of parameters to play with if you need to. It's also much welcome that now we have more uh, options to trade between shadow quality and performance because these ones are lacking a bit in Godot 3. This video is sponsored by our Godot courses. All our courses are 50% off until the end of 2022, so now's a great time to invest and improve your Godot skills. Our courses focus on Godot 3 as Godot 4 is still in development. But if you get Learn to Code from Zero or Godot Node Essentials now, you'll get their Godot 4 remake at no extra cost in 2023. You'll find a link in the description below.